In this video, water frost is detected on a Martian volcano. Perseverance celebrates its birthday in the dark and drills into a strange rock with an almost vertical face. Water frost has been discovered on the summit of Olympus Mons, the largest mountain in the solar system. It's three times the height of Mount Everest and roughly the size of Arizona. The blue hue shown in this image represents the frost on Olympus Mons. The water content in the ice is equal to the volume of 60 Olympic swimming pools. This image shows the true scale of Olympus Mons. This rendition was made using height data and is a realistic representation of what the mountain would look like from orbit. It's Sol 1064 and Perseverance has found a rather strange rock which the team at NASA names Bunsen Peak. In the background, Ingenuity rests in Naretva Vallis after a crash landing completely disabled the little helicopter. The rover will eventually have to say goodbye and continue with its mission. Despite its best efforts, the NASA team is still grappling with the stuck dust cap on Perseverance's Sherlock camera. Perseverance has had some minor success shaking it open, but the cover is still obstructing the camera and other instruments inside, posing a significant challenge. On its third birthday on Mars, Perseverance, in a heartwarming gesture, turns on its LED and ultraviolet lights, which act as birthday candles. This celebration amidst the challenges showcases the rover's spirit and resilience. The lone celebration continues until 7.23 p.m. before Perseverance decides it's time to get some sleep. The rover looks again at Bunsen Peak. This rock stands out due to its near vertical rock face on one side and its size among the other rocks nearby. It is likely a carbonate rock, which means it has a higher chance of holding remnants of past life on Mars. Before getting to work, Perseverance takes a look at its surroundings. This stunning panorama captured by Perseverance is made up of 67 images. It shows the true scale of parts of the crater rim, and you can see the width of the river channel where Ingenuity rests. Remember, Ingenuity has a wingspan of 4 feet or 1.2 meters, so it's not a small drone. While it looks nice and clear here, the team on Earth detects that a huge dust storm is approaching the rover. Perseverance is ordered to take pictures of the same location over the next few sols to create a video sequence. Stay tuned to see the result. It's Sol 1069, and Perseverance is still suffering from its stuck dust cover. NASA has formed a plan to rectify the issue. They plan to use the rover's drill in mid-air for extended periods of time. The vibrations created when the drill is in use should hopefully unjam the cover. After examining Bunsen Peak, Perseverance realizes that its drill tool isn't safe to use on the vertical side of the rock. Therefore, it will have to abrade and drill the top of the rock instead. The team at NASA orders the rover to analyze the texture of the rock first. It has an interesting texture, previously unseen on Mars. While the team at NASA reviews the close-up images of Bunsen Peak, Perseverance can't help but glance at its old companion. Ingenuity is entirely disabled, but still alive. As Perseverance continues to image Bunsen Peak, it dislodges another rock under its wheel. This image shows that the wheel is finely balanced on this wobbly rock. The rover desperately needs to open its dust cap in order to use its laser on Bunsen Peak. It's Sol 1076 and Perseverance is watching the sunrise. The dust storm that NASA warned of is starting to roll in. After getting another visual on the dust cap, the rover is ordered to try again by using its drill in mid-air. Finally, a result! The cover is now open and the instruments inside are free to study the Martian surface once again. While Perseverance was busy opening the cover, the dust storm reached its peak. This sequence's images were captured over 11 sols. 
the team at NASA orders Perseverance to perform an abrasion on Bunsen Peak. The rover checks its abrasion tool for any damage. Perseverance snaps a quick image of the abrasion patch before resting for the day. The next day arrives and the rover is eager to check on its rock abrasion. In this image, we can see that the displaced rock under the wheel has moved again. This wobbly rock could be a problem for the rover when using its drill. Perseverance takes a look at the patch again, but this time in brighter conditions. Now that the team can see the abrasion patch in detail, Perseverance goes ahead and uses the drill. The rover's drilling is a great success. A close-up picture of the sample shows that two different materials make up the rock. The drilling has created a large amount of dust. After a deep analysis, the sample appears to be composed of about 75% carbonate grains cemented together with almost pure silica. This rock was awash in water for an extended period in the distant past, perhaps as part of an ancient Martian beach. Perseverance checks its drill bit after the sample is contained to check for any possible damage. This is the rover's 21st successful rock core, and the drill is holding up well. After finishing its work on Bunsen Peak, the rover continues to edge toward the river channel. Orbital images help set routes for Perseverance, yet they often conceal the dangers of certain rocks as some are too small to see on orbital images. Take a look at the size of the hills behind Perseverance. From orbit, they don't look as perilous. The rover is now traveling further down the edge of the river channel. The terrain is very rough in this area. However, it's much safer than traversing through the death ripples of Naretva Vallis. These sand ripples are highly dangerous for the rover to traverse because they are very soft and differ significantly in size. If Perseverance decided to travel through these, it would inevitably get trapped and reach a demise similar to that of the Spirit Rover. Happy with its progress so far, our determined traveler snaps a picture of its tracks. Perseverance takes a quick look towards its faithful scout, Ingenuity. This might be the last time they see each other. Perseverance is ordered to take a panorama so the team can analyze its surroundings and choose the safest path for the rover. Many rocks surrounding Perseverance are unique. Look at this nearby rock. It seems to resemble a face. The rover is happy and captures a selfie with its rock friend. Interestingly, we can also see the rover's microphone. This little mic is responsible for gathering the first ever direct sounds from Mars. The team at NASA wants to get a better look at it. In this audio clip, you can hear the rover's MOXIE instrument at work, which generates oxygen using the Martian atmosphere. Perseverance has two microphones on board, one on its head and another on its body. The one on its body was damaged during the landing. It's Sol 1122 and the NASA team spots a sedimentary rock similar to the ones Curiosity encountered on the other side of the planet. Curiosity is also in an ancient lake. These rocks could have been formed in ancient water. Speaking of ancient water, Perseverance once again looks towards the ancient river channel. The rover takes a higher quality image of Ingenuity's final airfield, Valinor Hills. The team at NASA asks the rover for some pictures of its body to see the level of dust accumulation. This amount of dust accumulation is okay and should not cause any problems for Perseverance. The rover looks towards the gap in the crater rim where the river once flowed. Perseverance is tired of hitting sharp rocks and takes it slower to perform safer drives. 
This is the most difficult terrain the rover has encountered throughout its journey on Mars. The orbital images conceal this terrain. Take a look at the orbital view where Ingenuity performed its first flight. Perseverance took a selfie here back on Sol 46, and the terrain is relatively flat and safe. This orbital image of Perseverance's current position looks pretty similar. However, the ground view is very different. The boulders surrounding Perseverance are just under half a meter in size. Objects of this size are difficult for the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to resolve. It might now be safer for the rover to enter Neretva Vallis as the dunes are becoming smaller and less frequent. The rover decides to watch a Martian sunset before sleeping for the night. Don't worry, the sun isn't actually this large, there's just a lot of glare on the camera. As the rover moves on, it sends an emotional goodbye to its little friend Ingenuity before traveling past it for possibly the last time. The dust storm is still intense, therefore limiting visibility for Perseverance. NASA orders the rover to take an abrasion on a nearby rock. The vibrations have caused sand to move in the surrounding area. This sequence captures what looks to be a mini landslide. Some of the sand is not fully compacted, causing it to slide. After closely examining the patch, the team notices a purple coating next to the abrasion. We've seen this before and are still trying to figure out what it is. The rover then takes some pictures of its abrasion bit again to check for any possible damage. The bit does appear to be showing some signs of wear and tear. However, it is still getting the job done. When looking at the before and after images, a lot of sand around the rover has moved. This uncompacted, soft-sitting sand could be a potential hazard for Perseverance if it tries to drive through a large portion of it. The rover takes another picture of the abrasion patch. The NASA team doesn't seem to want to drill this rock. This could be because we already have numerous samples of this type of rock, or the rock itself may be too small to get a good sample. Perseverance will begin its descent into the perilous river channel in the next episode. We'd like to thank our patrons for supporting this historical series. Below is the link to join the community. Click here to see the next episode. Thanks for watching, Elder Fox. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.